Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the successful launch of the UAE Hope mission to Mars or Al Amal. The Emirates Mars mission blasted off from Japan's Tanigashima Island today, making history as the first Arab and Islamic space mission to explore Mars. His Majesty the King praised the historic scientific achievement that contributes to the consolidation of the global position of the UAE among the developed countries as a pioneering space center. His Majesty commended the efforts of young Emiratis in accomplishing the project that is a source of pride for the UAE and the Arab and Islamic nations and contribute to serving humanity. His Majesty the King wished the UAE further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King also sent a cable congratulations to the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on the successful launch of the UAE Hope mission to Mars. His Majesty praised the ambitious accomplishment and the historical achievement by the UAE in becoming the first Arab country to launch an unmanned probe to explore the Red Planet. The launch is also an achievement for the Arab and Islamic nations and in advancing global knowledge in the field of space. His Majesty the King expressed his best wishes for the UAE to achieve further development and achievement in all fields under its leadership. His Majesty the King also sent a cable of congratulations to the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the successful launch of the UAE Hope mission to Mars. His Majesty praised the milestone and civilizational achievements in the UAE, which is a source of pride for the Arab and Islamic nations and a contribution in the service of humanity. His Majesty the King wished the UAE further success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting remotely in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Secretary General Dr. Yasser Nasser issued the following statement. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed pride and appreciation in the kind sentiments shown by citizens and residents on His Royal Highness's successful medical checkups, praying to Allah the Almighty to aid him in serving His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the people of Bahrain. The cabinet then expressed wishes of a speedy recovery to the custodian of the Tuhalim Mosque, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless him with lasting good health and happiness. The cabinet also congratulated the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, on his successful operation, wishing him lasting good health and happiness to continue the march of development and prosperity in Kuwait. His Royal Highness then appointed the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning and the Minister of Housing to continue conducting field visits to villages and towns to inspect the needs of its residents, including Tubli and its neighboring villages. He directed to develop central markets and provide the basic needs for sellers and shoppers, including Citra Central Market and Citra Mall. His Royal Highness also directed to intensify inspection and control campaigns on commodities and food supplies to verify their quality and safety. Following the directives of His Majesty the King to unify efforts to face the pandemic, the Cabinet decided to exempt the industrial companies that are exporting not less than 30% of its products abroad from rent fees for three months starting this month, in addition to exempting companies in most affected sectors from paying the commercial registration renewal fees, as well as exempting institutions from paying tourism fees of the third quarter of 2020. Following the recommendations of the Government Executive Committee chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Cabinet approved establishing a committee to combat terrorism, financing it and money laundering. The Cabinet approved a draft resolution allowing the Electricity and Water Authority to assign inspection and testing tasks on electrical installations on to external parties licensed by the aforementioned authority in accordance with the conditions and controls and coordination with the competent authorities. The Cabinet approved a draft resolution on regulating rules and procedures to allow employees to practice the preparation and part participation in Gulf Arab Regional International Sports events full-time, in which the Kingdom is represented locally or abroad at the level of national teams, clubs or sport federations. The Cabinet referred a memo to the Ministerial Committee for Legislative and Legal Affairs on joining the Nagoya Protocol regarding having access to genetic resources and the fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from their use, which is approved by the 10th Conference of the Parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity held in Nagoya, Japan. The Cabinet discussed Bahrain joining the Minamata Agreement on Mercury and referred it to the Ministerial Committee for Legislative and Legal Affairs. 
The Cabinet approved a draft resolution on regulating licenses for cars and electric bikes rentals. The Cabinet approved a proposal to establish a service center for passports, nationality and residency affairs. The Cabinet approved a proposal to increase a period of preventing trucks and heavy machinery from using roads during peak time. The Cabinet approved a proposal regarding a technical and vocational education school for girls in Hamad Town. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the successful launch of the UAE Hope Mission to Mars. His Royal Highness praised the outstanding historic achievement by the UAE that coincides with the country's 50th anniversary of its establishment by the late His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness said the UAE presents a new achievement to humanity on its way towards further progress and development. He added that it is also a pioneering civilizational step forward and a source of great pride for the Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness wished the UAE and its people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also sent a cable congratulations to the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on the successful launch of the UAE Hope Mission to Mars. His Royal Highness praised the advanced civilizational and scientific achievements of the UAE thanks to its citizens. He praised the pioneering role of the UAE in supporting human knowledge and its progress at all levels, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless His Highness Sheikh Mohammed with steady health, well being, and happiness, and to achieve further progress and prosperity for the UAE and its people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also sent a cable congratulations to the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the successful launch of the Hope Mission to Mars. His Royal Highness praised the achievements made by the UAE across all areas, mainly science and technology, that reflects its high level of progress, development and civilizational advances and constitute a source of pride for the Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Highness Sheikh Mohammed and bless him with lasting good health and happiness and wish the UAE and its people for their progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the successful launch of the Hope Mission to Mars. His Royal Highness said that this historic achievement will increase a UAE standing in the global space sector and commended the UAE's youth for their significant contributions to the first Arab space mission. His Royal Highness wished the UAE further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also sent a cable to the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, congratulating him on the successful launch of the Hope Mission to Mars. His Royal Highness commended the achievements made by the UAE in the space sector and recognized the role played by the UAE's youth in the successful launch of the first Arab space mission. His Royal Highness wished the UAE further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also sent a cable congratulations to the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the successful launch of the Hope Mission to Mars. His Royal Highness praised the UAE's pioneering achievements, which increases the UAE's standing in the global space sector, and added that it's a source of pride for the Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness wished the UAE for the progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday held a telephone call with Kuwait's Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Royal Highness was reassured about the health of the Kuwaiti Emir, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, following his successful surgery. The Kuwaiti Crown Prince expressed deepest thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his noble feelings, wishing him lasting good health and happiness. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the successful launch of the Hope Mission to Mars and on the first Arab and Islamic space mission to explore Mars. His Highness also congratulated the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the Crown Prince of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. 
He stressed that this historic scientific achievement contributes to the consolidation of the global standing of the UAE. His Highness added that this achievement is an affirmation of the efforts of young Emirati scientific cadres in accomplishing this project, which is a source of pride for the UAE and the Arab and Islamic nations. He added that the probe will provide many information and data about Mars and scientific discoveries of the planet, which will pave the way to new discoveries about Mars. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the achievements of the equestrian sport and international participation after the horse Ali placed first in Ireland. His Highness congratulated the Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Horse Affairs Authority, Sheikh Adaij bin Salman Al Khalifa, in this regard, which reflects the Kingdom's high status. His Highness affirmed that this achievement will be a strong motivation to make further accomplishments and future participations. Sheikh Adaij expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his continuous support in which it contributed to making a number of achievements in this field. He added that this achievement reflects the high status of the Kingdom in this field and that it will bring it more accomplishments and future participations. He praised the efforts of Colin Kane and Simon Crisford in preparing Ali and wished them further success. The Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister announced that applications for the sixth edition of the FTPM Fellowship are now open until August 2, 2020. The Director General of the OFTPM, Sheikh Fahad bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, highlighted that FTPM Fellowship helps deliver His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's vision of further improving government performance by supporting, training, and investing in the Kingdom's future leaders. He highlighted that the prestige, prestigious one year comprehensive program provides young government leaders advanced training and leadership research methods and policy analysis, as well as offering fellows the opportunity to interact with senior government officials. Government employees below managerial level can apply via OFDPM's website. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,924 with 607 recoveries, 418 registered new cases and one death. The deceased was a 50-year-old male expatriate and the Ministry expressed his condolences to the family of the deceased. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.